Hello, my name is Rhea Kim, and I am the founder and CEO of Millennials Chamber of Commerce, short for MC Square. Millennials Chamber of Commerce is an organization created for the next generation by the next generation. The purpose of our organization is very simple with our bold mission. It is to uplift and empower the millennials and the Gen Z who are our current next generation globally. My job as the founder and CEO is nothing fancy. Um, from the outside, it looks like it may be. Sometimes you may see me on stage speaking on prestigious global platforms, such as the American Bar Association, um, the United States of the Women, with the Foreign Prime Minister of South Korea for the Future Leaders Conference, and on and on. But those are really just the stuff that looks good on paper, is what I usually say. Behind the doors, there's a lot of grunt work that goes in. And, um, and people ask me, what are, what are, what is your role description? What does your day kind of look like? I say um, it's unpredictable and I love that. Um, and it, it's really simple. It comes down to rolling my sleeves up and doing whatever has to get done to get the job done and really approaching everything from a solution oriented um, uh, lens. And it really is leading with the team. Um, I never feel that I'm too I don't know, uh, fancy to do anything. Um, there's obvious things, um, fundraising strategy, um, maintaining relationships, cultivating relationships, having sponsorship talks, um, leading with the team, training and coaching. And then there are the things that um, may not be very fancy, even doing administrative work, um, even really just um, having some inner soul searching moment to remind myself of why I'm doing this and and be appreciative of the team that have believed in this vision to move this forward. So my role is really, um, it's, it's like any other entrepreneur, it's rolling up my sleeves, being humble and doing whatever has to get done to get the job done. So in a nutshell, that is my role. Um, the impact that we're trying to really create is it sounds simple, but it's very audacious and bold. It's empowering our next generation globally. It's creating true equity, um, not leaving anyone behind. Um, I've been labeled unconventional, underdog, misfit um, in so many different walks of my life. And I know that um, that rings true for many next generation. Um, I especially sense that when I mentor um, young professionals and recent grads and college students, when I speak with them, and the goal is to really um, uplift and empower them, creating the opportunities that I wish I had. Um, and just helping them grow. That really is the, uh, the ultimate goal. Um, my personal um, tribe that is dear to my heart are women and next generation because I truly believe that is the future. Um, when people ask, well, why is this a global movement? I mean, when we first came up with the Millennials Chamber of Commerce, um, I was asked, well, is this affiliated with um, a Metro Atlanta Chamber of Commerce or you know other chambers of commerce that people were familiar with based on geographic region and and I get that I used to serve as the youngest board member with the US Pan Asian Chamber of Commerce which is a national organization that has been around for 30 plus years and what I found um, by serving in that capacity and by serving on certain communities and task forces and other other community oriented leadership roles is that there was a, a, a void and a vacancy for people like myself um, and, and younger to come together to share our visions to help create um, a channel, a network for us to elevate our careers um, and our success. And that's kind of how the chamber was found, and that is the impact that we're continuously trying to create on a global um, scale. And why that's so important is, I mean, it's no mystery. Everyone knows we live in a globally driven, digitally driven world. And chambers of commerce is, the history goes back to 1700s where it was rooted by a certain area, a certain geographic region to help people grow their businesses and succeed in their careers. And for our generation, 
we must act locally and regionally. However, however, we must think collaboratively and globally. I myself was born in South Korea at a low income neighborhood um, about an hour south from Seoul. And I immigrated to NYC and I quote ludicrous and I say, well, I've been around the different area codes of NYC from the Boogie Down Bronx to the Brooklyn to Queens, the suburbs, Long Island, Westchester, you name it. And now I'm in Atlanta. And what I found is the world is getting more global and global and smaller and smaller. And we have much more in common than we realize. So it's important for us to come together and continue this mission. Thank you.